Yeah, g'day viewers. Thought I'd like to show you my latest acquisition. I've scored an old Sony Watchman portable television. These are, were released in the 1980s, probably following the success of the Sony Walkman portable cassette recorder that became very popular. And then they decided to make a little uh, CRT television. It's a quite a nice little unit. Has a unusual flat CRT in this thing, and here's the screen here. You can see it's sort of laying down there at a bit of an angle, and the tube gun is up in the works here. A bit hard to see it. Anyway, we shall just turn it on and get a look at it. These obviously came out before the liquid crystal display panels. So it's a very clever piece of technology. Unfortunately, it won't work as a TV anymore. The digital broadcasts have now come in and the old UHF, VHF TV channels have now been discontinued. However, it will still take a video input, which I'll do now and we'll just have a look at it. Righto, now I've got the video signal coming to the unit and as you can see it's got the crosshatch displayed. You can probably see that the lines are not quite right. It's Probably the yoke is misaligned on this unit. Anyway, I had to do a bodgy to accept a video signal. I had to wire in a couple of wires to the signal generator here. And also push in a plastic plug to override the little interlock switch. Sony uses a specialised plug to carry the video and audio signals. And plus it has a pin to uh, swap over between the video and the television inputs. Righto, the rear cover is off. You can see the main board here. And uh, having a look underneath. There's the CRTV. The neck and the deflection coils. HT connection. And the main uh, tube body sitting there. Very clever piece of engineering by Sony back then and, and like I said before I think uh, it's the only one I've actually come across. But yeah, great little thing. Yeah, got a few jobs in workshop at the moment. Just got a few steam sterilizers that I've been working on and Get these back out for dental clinics and here's one that I'm just doing some tests on at the moment. Had to replace the chamber interface which is that module in there. That just bolts to the sterilisation chamber and just carries all the steam connections and pressure ports and what have you. This is what it looks like. It's made of a plastic composite and sometimes uh, it can crack, all the fittings can can leak and stuff and all the seals will leak. So sometimes when you have problems with leaks you've just got to change the whole part out. And over here is just the, my test gauges. Just got the, yeah, just like watching you know, when the heaters are doing their thing, you can see the current draw, the power they're consuming. Now the heaters are coming on again.
Tom Cock here. Yeah, here's a little uh, digital clock I made up. I had a bunch of these old numerical indicators, so uh, LED type, made in the 1970s, and also, and also had a bunch of CMOS and TDL chips, so I thought I'll throw together a bit of a clock circuit. So that's the timekeeping part here, based around one megahertz oscillator, running through 4017 uh, Johnson counters to give me the one second output which then just uh, drives the clock circuitry and uh, here the little indicators here really quite nice they've got a little uh, chip on board which drives them directly from a binary code input to display the numbers and I made up a little test board here just to test them out with just runs on five six volts yeah all these little indicators are very hard to find these days they're probably a little bit rarer than Nixie tubes to get hold of and there is all uh, good pulls from old equipment that I've been taking apart so I thought I'd hang on to them and play around with them and you can find the data sheets for the indicators online as well well anyway guys that's it for now and uh, hope to catch you again soon thanks for watching